Hello, Solar Eclipse Timer users. This is Dr. Telepin checking back in. Do you know that the dimming light during a solar eclipse fools animals into thinking nighttime is coming? Do you want to see what a group of chickens did during the last eclipse? I have an amazing video to show you. Observe changes in animal behavior. I think one of the most interesting aspects of a total solar eclipse is understanding and enjoying all of the partial phase phenomena. These are the interesting things that happen between first and second contact when more and more of the sun is being covered by the moon. To make this YouTube channel the absolute best place for people to learn how to observe and enjoy a total solar eclipse, I need to spend time on animal behavior. This is important as you prepare for upcoming eclipses. The next one crosses South America in 2019, but in 2024, another eclipse will cross the United States from Texas to Maine. When it gets darker, animal behaviors change. Crickets start chirping. This is one of the easiest to experience if you are observing the eclipse next to a field or woods. I heard them going crazy in the field next to us at the 2001 eclipse. Songbirds stop singing, grazing animals stop feeding, bees stop flying, bats may begin to fly, and birds go to roost. I am lucky enough to have a friend in Nashville that lived in the path of the last eclipse and has a farm with chickens. I wanted to get a video of the behavior of her chickens during the eclipse. She agreed to do the video for me. So a few days before the eclipse, I shipped the gear, a Kodak Play Sport on a tripod, all set up and ready to go. It just had to be powered up, pointed towards the chicken coop, and turned on. The plan was to start the recording about 15 minutes before totality and just let it run. What do you think the chickens will do? My hypothesis was that the chickens would go into their coop when darkness occurred. I figured they would want to go to roost, seek the protection of their coop, and sleep. After the eclipse, using the shipping label I provided her, she sent the gear back to me. Now, we did not have a conversation about what happened prior to me reviewing the video when it arrived back to me. Let's watch. This is really cool. This is a six minute video of the chickens before, during, and after totality sped up to finish in just two minutes. My Eclipse Timer app helps you by making an announcement to observe for changes in animal behavior at eight minutes before totality. Wait, what? What just happened? It got dark and the chickens are coming out of the coop. I was devastated when I watched this for the first time. My hypothesis was completely wrong, but something fascinating happens. Let me rewind a bit and we'll restart. Check this out.
so. You see what happened? The chickens started feeding. They thought it was morning again. After I reviewed the video, I called my friend. I said, they did not do what I thought they would do, but there was clearly a behavior. She told me she had a bet with her husband. She bet the chickens would not go into the coop right after it got dark. She knows her chickens. She knows they still hang outside for about 45 minutes after it gets dark. So I believe, since these are farm chickens and have some safety in their farm environment, they don't feel the need to immediately get to a safer position in the coop after it gets dark. Then, she explained the farm routine to me and that allowed me to better understand the chicken behavior. Here's the routine. After it's dark, and the chickens get into the coop, she goes out and closes the door for the night. In the morning, her son heads out, puts fresh feed in the feeding trough, then opens the door to the coop. The chickens run out and have breakfast. So, what is fascinating about this video? The chickens usually have two cues for their morning behavior. The door to the coop opening and it being light outside. So on Eclipse Day, one cue was missing. The opening of the door did not happen. Therefore, the chicken behavior to eat after totality was based strictly on the cue of it becoming light. They thought it was breakfast again. That is amazing. Thank you for watching this Solar Eclipse Timer episode. I hope this gets you interested in animal behavior during an eclipse. If you want to learn more, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and when the little bell pops up click on that too then you will be notified when i release new episodes about the other partial phase phenomena and other eclipse information also post comments and questions if you don't feel like subscribing now that's okay too just promise me you will try to get to the path of totality on april 8 2024 that is the day of another eclipse in the United States, and you should not miss it. Thanks again. I appreciate your time.